Hey guys, welcome back to another Titus Diorama Tour Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Spider Armored Spider-Man from the Marvel Legends Marvel 80 Years series. So let's take a look. So guys, as you can see, Spider-Man comes in that standard Marvel Legends window box packaging, which allows you to view the figure along with any of the accessories that he comes with. Now, this particular figure does not belong to a Build-A-Figure wave, so he is a standalone figure, hence the reason why he does not have any Build-A-Figure pieces. He is in the Marvel 80 Years line, however. The side of the packaging has some nice artwork of the actual character, and the back of the packaging has a nice product shot along with a small bio. Alright guys, so before we move on to the unboxing portion of this video, I just wanted to mention a couple things. Uh, first off, Hasbro released the original version of this figure back in the 2012 Armin Zola build a figure wave, which was tagged as the return of Marvel Legends. The original product shots for that figure looked very similar to this figure. However, upon release, you could quickly tell that Hasbro missed the mark on the paint job, mainly the glow effect. Uh, however, I do believe that they redeemed themselves with this particular figure. Secondly, I just want to talk about why I wanted to pick this figure up. I passed on the original figure due to that paint job. Um, however, years later, I came across a YouTuber called Shardmas Prime, uh, and he has some really funny skits uh, with that original figure. Uh, he calls it Big Time Let, time, let Down Spider-Man, uh, and I do recommend that if you haven't already seen his YouTube channel to check it out, I'll make sure I have a link in the description below. Um, but... One of the reasons why I think we got this particular figure released was due to him and the popularity that came around that particular figure due to the sheer amount of people that were watching those videos and getting a little kick out of that big time let down uh, Spider-Man. I also want to give a, a quick shout out as well to another YouTuber uh, who is a Spider-Man customizer, uh, Pounds978. Uh, he did do a custom Big Time Spider-Man, uh, which they tagged Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man, uh, and looks very similar to what we have with the Hasbro one. Uh, I'll also have a link in the description below uh, for his channel. Check him out. Um, they both have some great content. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging. All right, guys, here is Spider-Man out of the packaging. And first and foremost, I have to say, I really do enjoy this particular Spider-Man suit. Uh, I'm really glad to have this one in my collection. I do have a fair mini Spider-Man in my collection, and he was one of my childhood heroes. Now, we have seen this body mold before, both on the uh, Pizza Spider-Man, the 2099 Spider-Man, um, the black suit at Spider-Man, so we've seen it a few times, uh, and I have gone over the articulation of those figures uh, in the past, so we're not going to cover that today, but he does have the standard Marvel Legends articulation. Now, the paint job on this one is really just the green on top of the black molded plastic. Um, my particular uh, figure has some spots that are missing some paint um, as you can see he's got a couple spots in the chest area that's missing um, he had a big scrape of paint off right out of the packaging on the back there 
and he's got a couple spots here as well that just they missed the the green it really could have done with another coat uh, and the other big grape i kind of have is that the lines should match up up here and they don't um they just kind of made it smaller uh, and i wish that they had uh, actually joined them i can see why they didn't just due to the butterfly joint there um, but it would still have been great to have seen that all line up now he does come with a few accessories. Um, most of these accessories we have seen in the past. Uh, he's got two fisted hands, uh, which are really well done. They've got the green uh, painted in them. Uh, he's got the two flipping hands. And then, of course, he has the two open palm hands for wall climbing um, or uh, holding a piece of pizza or anything like that. Uh, the other accessory that he comes with is, of course, the web line, which just hooks around his uh, wrist when you have the flipping hand on it. Um, when it's out of the package, it is bent like this in the packaging. Um, so as you can see, it does have a bit of a bend in there. Um, that can be fixed with some hot water or warm water or, or a um, blow dryer on low just to soften it up and then running it under some cold water to straighten it out. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that because I have my own... Um, web lines that I've created in the past. Uh, maybe someday I'll show you guys how to do that. But overall, guys, I'm really impressed with this particular figure. Now, let's go ahead and just compare him with a couple other figures that I have in my collection here. So here he is beside the black-suited Spider-Man or Venom Spider-Man and, of course, the Sup Superior Spider-Man. Uh, as you can see, exact same body mold across here, exact same hands that we got uh, between the two of these. Um, but they do look very well. Uh, and of course, the Superior Spider-Man is on that smaller body mold. Uh, these particular body molds, as you can see, have a bit of a longer torso, um, whereas the Superior has a shorter torso. Um, I like them both ways. Um, he's still my favorite, uh, but these guys are close behind. Anyway, guys, I hope that you really enjoyed this particular video. Um, I always like putting these together. Um, if you're wondering about the background uh, that I have them um, on, uh, check out the video I have for that. Um, as always, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the, the like button if you like this video. Uh, click on the notification button so you can be notified whenever I release any new content on my YouTube channel here. And as always, guys, stay nerdy.